Do I really spend 90% of my time inside? That's what I'm thinking about. Greetings from Bryce Canyon National Park for the first ever on-location edition of What I'm Thinking. I got this idea from my good buddy Derek Hodges, who's a financial planner down in Missouri. He was out here a few years back and did a recording for his clients from Bryce, and I thought, you know, if I ever make my way out this direction, I've got to do one of those things. His recording had really nothing to do with uh, with money or taxes, uh, but it was really powerful. So as I'm out here hiking around, wanted to share some thoughts with you. On, on the plane ride out here, I was reading a book and it talked about the health benefits of being in uh, in the outdoors, spending time outside, getting in tune with nature. And it also said in that book, 93% of time for Americans, uh, we spend 93% of our time indoors on average. And I thought, well, you know, I'm above average uh, like you are, right? You know, we all live in Lake Wobegon. And I thought that can't be true. And of course, I started doing some math on it and I realized that that equates to something between two and two and a half hours a day outside on average. And I thought, golly, on a typical work day, you know, I get up and uh, get outside, walk the kids to the school bus, you know, take a walk at lunch, out walking the dog, maybe playing catch in the evening. And golly, it takes a lot to get up to two and a half hours or so. As we're getting into the spring season here back in Wisconsin, I'm looking forward to doing something about that. And the first thing I'm going to do is just keep track of it, right? Just kind of see how much time I am spending outside, but then really intentionally working on getting outside. You know, in the book they covered, all of the evidence is really overwhelming these days that being outside in nature, it's physical, it's emotional, it's mental, like it just does a lot of good for us. So as we get back, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I encourage you to think about that as well, is how much time do you spend outside? How much time do you want to be spending? out. And of course, it's easy to think about that here out in the wonderful national parks of Southwest Utah. If you haven't been out here, this has got to get on your bucket list. Just amazing out here. But, you know, we all have those things nearby. We've got the state park, you know, an arboretum to walk in, just walking in the neighborhood, local parks, even to the extent, you know, sitting outside and having uh, having dinner on uh, at the picnic table or sitting on your front porch, reading a book and, and watching your neighbors walk past. You know, so that's what I'm thinking about today. And, and you might be thinking, what does this have to do with financial planning? I mentioned early on that, you know, it has nothing to do with taxes and investments and those sort of things. And really, that's not what financial planning is all about. You know, we got to remember that those things are just tools. Money is just a tool to help us get what we want. You know, my personal mission is to help improve my clients' lives, right? And, you know, we happen to do it through being efficient with taxes and investments and those things. But if a video like this can uh, help improve somebody's life, then that's part of my mission. So thanks for watching and go on and get outside.